You're watching BCTV. We're all about Brantford. You're watching BCTV, Brantford Government Television, a service of Brantford Community Television. This program is brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Okay, welcome. We'll call the Board of Selectmen's meeting. This is a special, uh, for May 16, 2024, this is a special meeting. Uh, item one, to consider and if appropriate, approve a request from John Mulhern, police chief, to waive the bid for the purchase and upfitting of emergency lighting and associated hardware for two Ford Explorer vehicles and award the contract to Norcom in the amount of $22,065.47. Chief. Good afternoon. Um, the purpose of this request is we have two vehicles which are going to be detective vehicles. They need upfitting. What that means is the lights, the siren, some of the electronics, not as complex as the mark cars um, as far as the components and essentially some of the labor. There is a company that does have the state contract. We've used them for other cars in the past. Uh, we would like to get away from them uh, due to some elongated uh, service times and some other issues that we've had. We got a quote from Norcom Communications. They do our radio system. They did some work on our regional command post and they said that they would be interested in doing these two uh, vehicles. They did provide us a quote. That quote uh, is not under the state contract, quote unquote, reflective of the state contract values and going through their quote, uh, pretty much line by line, the essential, the large scale items, their labor rate of 5,700 for the total two cars is exactly at the state contract pricing. And some of the other big ticket items are also reflective of that state contract, verify that. There's some miscellaneous small value items uh, that could only be checked through open source, but it is our request uh, to give them a shot and a try um, for the total project of $22,065.47. And I will leave you with this, is that there's only really a handful of police upfitters and there's some supply, uh, chain issues, there's some labor issues, so we're all struggling. So what we're trying to do here is spread out our, our options on the table, and we'd like to give them a, a try with this. Okay, great. Thank I'll you. move it. All right. Second. Move, second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Thanks, all right. Chief. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Item two, to consider, and if appropriate, approve a request from Christopher Tramberg a superintendent of schools to waive the bid for the urgent roof repairs at Brantford High School and award the contract to Martin Roofing and Remodeling in the amount of $107,300. Good afternoon, everyone. Good to see you. Um, this request is uh, the urgent. Is Today's a good day to talk about the urgent. Uh, there is water running into the buildings. We have red barrels. Uh, placed about the building. Uh, and Ray, you sent some great questions and I appreciate those. Um, if something's not guaranteed, why are you doing it? Uh, we're in a position right now that we need to do whatever we can to just stop water from coming in. Uh, and we need to do that because the, the water's not necessarily coming in on days that it rains. It's coming in a couple of days after. So that means the water's traveling in different places about the building and there's potential that's causing some more damage uh, than, than we would hope for. Uh, so this will get us through the process of hopefully being able to get a full repair done for next summer. When would they be able to start, do you know? They'd be able to start in June. Okay. And this company specifically, as I mentioned, they have they completed a full assessment on the roof earlier this year, so they're already familiar with uh, the most critical components of the roof that need attention. I'll move it. All right, been moved. I'll second. Second, and you have funding in place for this repair we do um, so any other questions discussion the only thing I have is as I mentioned in the email that I sent um, my concern about the fact that it's not guaranteed at all what is your confidence and I guess of your staff that for a hundred and something thousand dollars that this is gonna put you in a position to be able to wait and I can Brendan if you want to come up you have to speak into the mic though because we've, we've thought about this quite a bit 
I, before, while Brendan's making his way up here, I would um, also, though there's not a warranty, I would expect, or maybe Brendan, you could just clarify. Typically, there's a one year workmanship that it comes with, uh, you know, within construction work. I just didn't know if that would apply. So maybe there's not a, I don't know. a I, warranty I, I, that yeah. you would typically get next year when you get a, typically you get a, 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 a warranty with a new roof system. Um, but oftentimes under uh, construction or remodeling, you'll, you'll get a one year workmanship. Uh, and that was my was concern question. because yeah. I saw something about a 30 or 60 day Is that it? in okay. there. So, Great. so I didn't see it. maybe Thank they can tell us. Thanks. It. Yeah. So uh, as, as Dr. Tremberg discussed, the, the roof in, in some of these sections is, is at the end of life, the end of its serviceable life. We have several areas of uh, disrupted classrooms, uh, large ancillary spaces, uh, ancillary gym collecting water. Uh, as far as the, the um, warranty, it, it doesn't meet warranty in the, in the fact that it's not a roof replacement. It's more of a, a, a it's not even a patch, it's, a, it's more of a, a tarp a, a, just to protect our asset, to make sure that this water doesn't continue to leak, to continue to go down through these other classrooms, um, you know, causing more damage. Yeah. So there is not necessarily a workmanship guarantee. Yeah. It's it's the best of the options that we have on the table right now without going through a full roof replacement. Okay. Was there any consideration <clears throat> of having somebody else also um, look at this job to maybe give a quote that would have a warranty? Yep, we've had a couple of, of other companies up on the roof. We've had several, um, you know, upwards of 10 different companies on the roof. No one is willing to give a full warranty um, in, in that respect just because of the scope of work of what we're asking for on, on this just, just basically to bide us some time until we're able to fully repair the roof. So no other company was willing to give uh, not only a, um, a guarantee but even, a, even a, um, a scope of work or a formal quote. You know, and what, okay. if I may, just kind of following up on that, because mm -hmm. it's, a, and I think uh, what may be helpful really is to kind of put it, uh, $100,000 certainly isn't a small amount of money, right? But I think to put it into perspective of the entire roof project. So really, you know, what you're addressing are just a series of patches. You know, there's still uh, a risk or a chance that other areas of the roof may may ultimately fail but you're addressing the immediate or the most vulnerable areas that are identifiable and the current areas that are leaking with this hundred thousand correct so there are other still points where but i've been through the building i've seen it, it in terms of the the how widespread it is um it is significant throughout there so i do think we have uh it is the you know, unfortunately, we're going to be the option. undoing this. But I, once again, getting to what we were saying about the scale of it or put it into proper perspective, the whole new roof, I know it's still preliminary, but this is a multi-million dollar roof system that will be going on the building. Correct. So when you look at the 100000 in comparison to you know, the, the, the multi-million dollar roof system, you can see it's really a small small yeah. percentage that's going to be actually we have further plans to address the roof in general but this is really uh, as jamie mentioned this this directly reflects our areas of greatest need just walking through the building today there are several cans throughout not only in classrooms but we have students actively in classrooms who are you know working around water that has been tunneled and and filtrated a different way to catch it and maybe they're they on their way to their classroom where they have a water collection system there's there's other areas of need of water coming in. So th this area specifically where we're asking for this 100,000 addresses our greatest need in the building. And as you pointed out, I mean, water can often, often create, if left alone, can create greater okay. issues in, you know, down the road uh, in other areas, whether it's mechanical, structural. Correct. Conditions, so I'm supportive. So it, 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 it's been I'm moved good. and it's been seconded. Yep. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed abstention. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item three to receive a report from Brian Devlin, Superintendent Wastewater Treatment Facility, for emergency work necessary to replace two sections of 15 inch reinforced concrete pipe and installing a doghouse manhole structure. 
Yeah, good evening. Uh, this was the issue at uh, 245 East Main Street. We, uh, on um, January 3rd, we brought in Fuji Construction to repair the pipe that the owner had a, a contractor do work and he damaged the pipe. So we actually had, we lost pumps and we lost the pipe, but the groundwater issue due to the tide, we had to have uh, pumps bring in, we had to bring in a bypass system and it took a total of 10 days to finish the job and we also had to finish the doghouse structure and seal and camera and uh, jet the line. So um, this is uh, this is in litigation right now and uh, this is the work that Fuji did. This was the bill, the 185,412,039 um, this is the uh, this is what the uh, work came to the cost for the subcontractors in Fuji. The uh, we had about three subcontractors with Fuji with the uh, the, the pipe in the uh, we had to bring National Water in to seal the pipe and and also the line to the pump station had to be uh, uh, cleaned out and jetted and we also lost two pumps and uh, our pump station had to be cleaned out and. Uh, it actually started New Year's Eve, the first part of it. So that was a. That's why the bill was so high. The time to finish it up. And that bill there doesn't even um, show the cost to the town. Did we have also costs. Right. Yes. Yeah. We have a, a, okay. a cost for that too. This is just Fuji's bill. Okay. And why did they reduce the? They revise the, uh, the bill. Uh, they didn't revise the bill. This was the total bill for the subcontractors in Fuji to complete the task on their end. And on our end, the town, we had to supply two new pumps. We had to redo the control cabinet. That was another uh, they should, uh, they, issue with okay. them now in litigation. I just got an email from the attorney today from Water Pollution Control. So what we're getting to the end there. I think what we're the select one was referring to is the, the original bill or the bill from Fusey had uh, had a cost and then it had an additional cost added to it. Yeah, that that's right. Uh, I apology. Uh, they they did landscape and work they had to do on top of this. They had a couple of items. Uh, actually, I'm looking at it now. They had a landscape and had to be done over on here that was added to the cost, and it brought it up to the 185 because they it took them a, a month or actually two three months to get all the bills together to send me the bill because we had a uh, question another meeting that was the issue with this particular company it takes them a while to send a bill and i uh you know i'm all caught up with them now with bills i'll move it second all right it's been moved seconded um any further discussion all in favor say aye aye, aye. Thank, thank you very much all right, item four, to consider an appropriate approval request from Manicontuck Audubon Society for installation of an Osprey platform in the marsh area west of Brantford High School football field. So moved. Second. Move, second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor say aye. 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 And a five, green use, to consider an appropriate approval request from the Brantford Early Learning Center for the use of the town green on June 29th, 2024, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. to hold the 50th anniversary party. Move it. Second. Move second. Discussion. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 To consider an appropriate approval request from the Legacy Theater for the use of the town green on August 2nd, 2024, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. to hold Legacy Theater under the stars. So moved. Second. Move second. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention. Item carries. Item six. Can you have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Move second. All in favor say aye. 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 So we're going to adjourn. Thank you. This program was brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Watch town meetings and other videos on demand at BrantfordTV.org.